Behind me you see mad competition taking place. Cornhole champions of the world are right now competing to be the cornhole champion of the world. In cornhole! Whatever the hell cornhole is! Yeah, the Bria Browns Bunch, absolutely. Bria Browns Bunch, raising money for the uh, children's home in Bria. This is Mario's, what's your last name, Mario? Singleton. Well, this whole event here was actually just kind of like a, to kick off the, the Brown season, but more importantly to, to raise funds for the Berea Children's Home, which is a, a local charity here in Berea. Um, they do a lot of great things for, for the community, and uh, we were just raising funds for them. So with the help of, um, you know, serious fans and uh, Sports Talk Cleveland and, and Cameron Wimbley and Eric Steinbeck and all the Browns fans that came out today, um, we were able to, do, to, to achieve our goal with that. Start in the back. Where we go, Michael? Well, we're going to the super cool Browns buzz here, man. It, uh, it is amazing inside. These guys know how to do it. And by the way, the serious fans need a bus like this. You just take a look at this thing here, man. Yeah! Yeah! All right, we're coming in. Look out! Coming through! Man, who's sweet? Sports Talk! Yeah, Sports Talk Ohio! Oh man, there's a lot. I mean, that's tough because week in, week out in this league, you know, you, you face the best of the best every week. And uh, nowadays, every defensive lineman, you know, especially the tackles out there these days, are they're all 330, 40 pounds and fast and stuff coming off. But I mean, there's some big guys out there. Uh, I mean, geez, I don't know. I mean, Black and Ted Washington, that you know, there's one <laughs> for four years, you know, so. But uh, yeah, there's some big guys out there like Sean Rogers and uh, Albert Hainsworth. You know, guys like that. They're they're tough. You know. So. Well, you're listed at 295. 295, man. Huh? You're listed at 295. Yeah. Maybe soaking wet, but I'm out. I'm, 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 I'm right around there. Right, so I got another uh, off the wall question for okay. you. Okay. Who's got the stinkiest locker in Berea? <laughs> Who's got the most unkept rank locker? Uh, <laughs> oh, let's see. It's got to be one of the linemen. Got to be one of the linemen. Huh? Yeah. I won't sell him out. I don't know what you think. Does, does Romeo show no fire, or, or does does he fire you guys up behind closed doors? Well, yeah, when it's needed, I think he'll he'll apply whatever we need. Uh, but it's great to have an even kill coach, you know, who's not going to panic when when things get tough, and he still has confidence in us, and we have confidence in him. And uh, you know, it's good to know what to expect from a coach, and you know, he's not going to be erratic and you know get down on the team whenever things are going tough. So. You know it's great to go in there and know that he still has confidence in us and he, he's building us up and we all believe in him and we want to go out there and fight and win games for him. So, you know, he gets disappointed when we lose. Uh, I don't know if you see it or you may not see it, but we definitely know and we feel it and we see it because we go to work with him every day. We see him in the locker room and in practice. So uh, it definitely has an effect on him if we're not doing uh, the way that he would like us to do and the way that we would like to do ourselves. If somebody wants to send money to contribute to the Berea Children's Home, where should they do that after this event's over? Uh, absolutely. They can do it at uh, www.bchfs.org. That's the Berea Children's Home website. Okay. They can do it uh, online there. And even if they don't want to, uh, to donate cash, they can also you know, donate their time and services and uh, really help out families that way as well. It is for me, and I think it's this way for a lot of... Um, Browns fans. If you grew up in Cleveland, especially in the 60s and 70s, there wasn't a lot to cheer about. We were called the mistake on the lake and made fun of, but you always felt proud of, of your Cleveland Browns. And so that got in our blood. I mean, as a, from a little kid, you know, watching Browns game, that's gotten your blood. And it just, it'll never go away. Okay, all those uh, marriage proposals, have you, <laughs> let's go back have to I ever accepted have one? Have you ever considered <laughs> one of those marriage no. proposals? Not even for a second. See, 
He's, he's no. Before he walked up, so a lot of drunks always walked up to her every day. Not every day, at the game. <laughs> well, on behalf of the serious fans, the four of us would like to propose. We'll have to move. I think to that's a, illegal. Utah. To Utah. <laughs> In some states, in some states, you can do it. You would be like my bone harem. Ooh. <laughs> Jeez, bone that, harem. You know what? That sounds kind of cool to me. Like you got to change your name, boy. Yeah. Just, I heard we'll four be... was better than one. That's right. Thank you very much for spending You're time welcome. talking You're welcome. You guys are today. so much fun. We'll Thank see you, you during both. the season. Uh, yes, you will. Okay. Thank you, bone lady. <laughs> <laughs>